Have you ever looked at a stunning photo of an astronaut on the moon or the breathtaking image of Earth from orbit and thought, where are all the stars? It's a question that puzzles many people. We know that space is a vast, star-filled expanse, so why do those tiny points of light seem to vanish in so many iconic images? Today, we're diving into the fascinating science of space photography, exploring why stars are often absent in these photos and busting a few myths along the way. The absence of stars in space photos isn't because they're not there, it's all about how cameras work. To understand this, let's break down a few key concepts in photography. Exposure, brightness and contrast. Cameras, just like your eyes, rely on light to create an image. When astronauts or spacecraft capture pictures, they're often focusing on very bright objects like the surface of the moon, a spacecraft or even Earth itself. These objects are illuminated by direct sunlight, making them incredibly bright. In comparison, stars are relatively dim. To capture a well-balanced image, photographers adjust the camera's exposure settings, essentially deciding how much light the camera sensor will absorb. If a camera were to increase its exposure to capture the faint light of distant stars, the brighter objects in the image would become completely overexposed, turning into glaring white blobs. Think of it like taking a photo of a candle flame in front of a spotlight. To see the candle, you'd have to dim the spotlight so much that it might disappear altogether. This is why stars often don't appear in photos from space. It's a technical choice to prioritize brighter, closer subjects. NASA's Apollo mission photos are a perfect example of this. When astronauts captured images on the moon, the surface was brightly lit by the sun. To properly expose the moon's details and the astronauts' suits, the camera settings couldn't pick up the much dimmer light of stars in the background. This leads to another common question. If cameras can't see stars, can an astronaut see them? The answer is both yes and no, depending on the situation. In space, the human eye perceives stars differently than on Earth. Here on the ground, our atmosphere scatters light, causing stars to twinkle. But in space, there's no atmosphere, so stars shine steadily, making them easier to see with the naked eye. However, just like a camera, the human eye has limitations. If an astronaut is looking at a brightly lit object, like a spacecraft or the Earth, their pupils constrict to adjust for the brightness. This makes it harder to see dim stars in the background. Astronauts on the International Space Station often describe incredible views of the stars when they're on the night side of Earth or when they're in a shadowed area of the station. Buzz Aldrin, during the Apollo 11 mission, noted that while on the moon, he couldn't see stars because the sunlight reflecting off the lunar surface was so intense. However, in the shadow of the spacecraft, the stars became visible again. This contrast highlights a fascinating difference between cameras and human vision. Our eyes can adapt dynamically to varying levels of brightness, but cameras require fixed settings. This adaptability allows astronauts to enjoy star-filled views under the right conditions, even if their cameras don't capture the same experience. Now let's consider why space agencies like NASA often prioritize images without stars. The answer lies in the purpose of these photographs. Space photos aren't just about aesthetics. They're tools for scientific research, engineering analysis and public outreach. When a spacecraft sends back images, those pictures often need to highlight specific details. The texture of a planet's surface, the structure of a spacecraft, or the conditions of an astronaut's environment. Including stars in these photos is rarely the goal because it would require different exposure settings that compromise the clarity of the primary subject. Take, for example, the famous Apollo 8 Earthrise photo. This image captures the Earth rising above the lunar horizon and its beauty lies in the contrast between the vibrant Earth and the grey moon. Including stars would have required a much longer exposure which would have blurred the Earth's details due to motion. Similarly, images from the Hubble Space Telescope or the James Webb Space Telescope are tailored for different objectives. 
These telescopes use specialized equipment to capture the faint light of distant stars, nebulae and galaxies. They can do this because they aren't simultaneously trying to photograph bright, nearby objects. This difference in purpose explains why some space images are star-filled masterpieces while others are not. But whenever the topic of starless space photos comes up, conspiracy theories are never far behind. Some claim that the lack of stars is evidence that space photos are fake. Let's take a moment to address these myths with facts. One popular conspiracy theory suggests that the Apollo moon landings were staged and the absence of stars in the photos proves it. But as we've already discussed, the missing stars are a result of camera exposure settings, not evidence of a hoax. In fact, the physics and photography principles that explain this phenomenon are well documented and reproducible. Another misconception involves the notion that space photos should always look like the colorful, star-filled images we see from telescopes. These telescope images are often the result of long exposures and post-processing to enhance colors and details. For example, the James Webb Space Telescope's images combine infrared data with visual enhancements to create stunning views of the cosmos. Comparing these to raw photos from a space mission is like comparing a professional studio portrait to a quick smartphone snapshot. They serve entirely different purposes. While stars are often absent from standard space mission photos, specialized techniques can capture them beautifully. Here's how astrophotographers and scientists achieve this. Astronomers use long exposure times to collect more light, allowing faint stars and galaxies to appear in their images. This technique is possible because telescopes and cameras designed for astrophotography are often mounted on stable platforms that track the movement of stars, countering the effects of Earth's rotation. Ground-based observatories like the Keck Observatory in Hawaii and space-based telescopes like Hubble excel at this. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2021, is a game-changer for capturing stars and other celestial phenomena. Operating in the infrared spectrum, JWST can see through clouds of interstellar dust, revealing stars and galaxies previously hidden from view. Its images of star-forming regions, like the Pillars of Creation, are breathtaking examples of how advanced technology can overcome the challenges of photographing stars. Back on Earth, amateur astrophotographers use techniques like image stacking, combining multiple exposures to enhance detail and reduce noise. They also use software to adjust contrast and brightness, creating star-filled images that rival professional observatories. So, why don't we see stars in most space photos? It's not because they're missing, it's because capturing them requires a different approach than what's needed for most space missions. The absence of stars in these photos isn't a flaw. It's a choice, driven by the scientific and practical needs of space exploration. By understanding the science of light, the workings of cameras, and the goals of space photography, we can appreciate these images for what they are. Glimpses into the incredible work of exploring the universe. And for those craving star-filled skies, images from telescopes like James Webb and Hubble offer an inspiring glimpse into the cosmos. The next time you see a starless space photo, remember, the stars are still there, just waiting for the right moment to shine. Before you go, if you're fascinated by the mysteries of space, you'll love our video on how Voyager is still alive after 47 years. It's an incredible story of engineering, exploration and the human spirit, as the Voyager spacecraft continues to send signals from billions of miles away. Click here to dive into this amazing journey.